afternoon. I'm Super Frank with the LPTV Broadcasters Association. And today we're really excited to have somebody new and unique who we met at the NAB this year. And we thought we should share what they do with all of you because it could prove very useful. And with us today, we have Dot Bob Lefkovich from Veterans TV. And Bob, why don't you tell us what Veterans TV is all about? Wow. Um, well, thank you all. How are you? Uh, Veterans TV is uh, something that I started three years ago, uh, 2018, uh, but that got off to a very slow start because of COVID. Um, we started by putting the word out to the broadcast world that we were looking for a truck uh, to do training for veterans. And NEP got back to us immediately. They're uh, probably the world's largest outside uh, OB van or that type of uh, company in the world. They have, they have trucks everywhere. So they gave us one of their very famous trucks, the Denali Gold, that up until the previous year had been doing the Oscars, the Emmys, uh, the Tony Awards, all the huge shows. Um, and they gave it to us with no equipment, but with all the racks and the infrastructure in place. Wow. Then I started calling individual companies. Now, I've been in this business since 1966. That makes me old, yes. And because of that, I have lots and lots of contacts. Um, this is a good and bad thing. The good is that there were lots of people to call to start my quest for equipment. Right. The bad thing was that I found out how many of them had passed away and, and uh, I'm retired from the business. But um, anyway, uh, I, was, I was amazed that I found so little... Um, obstruction in my quest. Almost every time I call, I started with Grass Valley Group, uh, because I'll always know them as the Grass Valley Group. And uh, they don't, they offered immediately uh, something like $1,200,000 worth of equipment. We're talking about a full-blown Cayenne switcher, uh, uh, routing, um, everything you, you could think of, seven cameras. Um, so once we had that, the rest was the almost a no brainer. Up. Yeah, it just all of, people were, Riedel called us out of the blue and said, hey, have you gotten a, uh, a comm system yet? And I said, uh, no, we're, we're looking at uh, this, blah, 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 or Riedel. And he goes, well, this is Riedel, and we would like to do the whole thing. And they supplied us with all the comms for internal and external, uh, just an incredible installation. And, uh, of course, since then, we've had uh, 50 different companies donate uh, gear to us. And uh, the truck is now fully operational, uh, fully equipped, um, and our... I, I actually didn't quite get to what it is that we do, which was your question, wasn't it? So is where that truck is parked a state secret? It is not. Uh, thanks to our good friends at Grass Valley Group. Uh, for some reason, I can't say Grass Valley without saying group, uh, because Grass Valley is also the town that it's in. Um, they gave us a perfect parking space. Uh, and allowed us to install our own power and everything uh, there uh, at their facility in uh, Grass Valley. Great. So uh, that was just an absolute huge help. Uh, as far as what we do and for whom we do it, uh, our mission is to train as many veterans and or family members of veterans in what we call the broadcast arts. Uh, which we're talking specifically, uh, how does television work? Uh, audio, yeah, it's a microphone. But what does that microphone do? Uh, you know, there, there's so many different formats available today. And 
uh, how does it get from here to there? So we have a six week course. Six weeks. Six weeks. And we spend one week in individual um, areas. For example, the first week is here's the truck. Here's what it does. Here's how it does it. Okay. We have classes in editing, nonlinear editing, which lasts for a week. We have classes in how to become an A2 and what you need to know in audio. Uh, we would love to train A1s, but you don't learn to be an A1 in six weeks. That takes years of actual work and experience. Uh, we train editing. We have a Cayenne switcher that we train TDs on. Uh, will they go out and immediately be able to use a Cayenne switcher on a golf tournament or a football game? Absolutely not. Will they get the basic understanding of how a switcher works and what it's supposed to do and what's a key, what's a wipe, what's the difference between an internal and an external key, between a luminance key and a matte key, uh, all the basics. Uh, we also uh, teach shading and um, color correction. Uh, so every week is dedicated to a different aspect of the business. And we have created a list uh, that includes at this point, so let's see, the two biggest would be CNN Washington and NBC News Burbank uh, that have said they would love to be able to have access to a group of well-trained entry-level ENG operators. So they have to know the basics of a camera, how to take it apart, put it back together again, uh, basic audio. And uh, so we're implementing that now also into our curriculum. So we're looking at organizations like yours, which I believe has many, many, many members, um, to say, look, when you need people and you don't want to just hire Joe off the street, even though Joe's got a BA in this or that or an AA or in this or that, somebody who has basic knowledge in how television works and what it's supposed to achieve, right. we can have these people ready for you. And you're all over the country and our students come from all over the country. So how, what a great synergy there would be between your organization and our organization. Now, your organization, your clients are for profit. And that's a good thing. I've, I've been in this business since 1966 and it's always been for profit. I mean, that's the name of the game. Uh, I was also, I started my own when I left Grass Valley Group uh, I started my own company called Editware, uh, which had a very nice success for 25 plus years. Uh, we built and designed edit systems, and a lot of your clients were our customers. Uh, but now it's a little different. So we have six full-time people wow. uh, that are our board of directors and our CTO. We're all non-paid, and this is from the top down. Nobody makes a dime. So we are, when we say we're non-profit, we are non-profit. Uh, we're all, except for one, retired. And we've all been in this business for too many years. Uh, but we have uh, something to give back to this industry. You know, I, I live in a beautiful house in a beautiful town uh, in the beautiful uh, mountains of, of the Sierras. Uh, my kids all got to go to college and, and this is all due to television. So uh, we're here to give back and we do want to specify that 85% of our graduates will be veterans but because of government regulations, they can't all be veterans. 
15% have to be non-veterans or it's considered reverse discrimination under the law. So that means that we will have some seats available for non-veterans that we will charge for. And that along with our corporate donations, corporate sponsors are what pays the bills. Got it. So, so let me get this right though. From what I gathered from what you're saying, this is more the production end than the engineering end. That is correct, yes. Okay. While we have a, a, a series of brilliant engineers helping us and working for us, uh, many of them have created the products that your customers use to this day. Uh, David Wood is on our board of advisors, the CEO of uh, Ensemble Design. Um, Janae Shake from Abacus. Uh, is on our board of directors. Dan Castles from Telestream is on our board of advisors. So th this is not a thing thrown together overnight. This is a well thought out uh, and very redeeming project. And uh, really what we need at this point is help from people like your clients who say, yeah, we will give your people a shot at an entry level position, at least an interview. That's all we ask. Perfect. And how do people get in touch with you? What's your website address? Let's Our website is www.veterans-tv.org. And, if and you it's don't, right below us right now, so you can see it oh, on the screen. And if you don't put the hyphen in, you get a different company, Veterans TV, that shows humor, uh, veterans humor, uh, military humor, and that's not us. <laughs> well, we appreciate your time and hopefully our members will be on the phone with you and it'll be ringing off the hook and not at 3 a.m. in the morning. You know what? Uh, I, I still take calls from editware from <laughs> customers that I have in Korea still to this day using our stuff, even though we're uh, basically a defunct company because uh, we've all retired. Uh, I'm 75 and I was the baby in the company. So, <laughs> wow. You look great for 75. For an old guy, you say, yeah, I look yeah. great for an old guy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Excellent. Well, we appreciate your time and thank you very much. You're very welcome and uh, let's help our veterans. Perfect. Thank you. Appreciate your time.